Week 8 of the Barcelona World Race, the first week into 2008 and what a week it has been. Having stopped for just 48 hours for rudder repair, Hugo Boss are back in the race. You know, we're quite comfy where we are and um, you know, we'll have to wait and see how the weather helps us or doesn't help us and whether we can put some miles on Verbeck and, and challenge the lead again. Leaders Pat Breck Verbeck too, who are 800 miles ahead of Hugo Boss, are sailing the more direct route towards Cape Horn, the next land to pass at the southerly tip of South America, but it is certainly riskier on the way. Something to put in your drink. Ooh la la! That's a big one. At the other end of the spectrum, in sunshine and the warmer climate of Australia, the Olia environment arrived under tow into Fremantle on the 31st of December, after they were dismasted on the 17th of December, forcing them to retire from the race. I don't like this. To win a race is something, but to finish is another thing. I don't like this because during the last Fondi Globe, I broke the keel in the same part of the world. Retracing their sail from the Kerguelen Islands, the duo enjoy their short stay in Australia and head to Cape Lewin before returning home to France. Wellington, New Zealand and Temenos 2 head into port to make vital keel repairs. They have a successful pit stop and rejoin the race on the 3rd of January. We have met plenty of nice people that have helped us and we leave now happy and confident. Crossing their paths, Spanish team Mucha Madrilena arrive into the same port to make necessary repairs for the next stretch of the Southern Ocean. We are going to check the whole boat. This is not a pressurable pit stop, it's a technical pit stop, and we will work on it until the 48 hours are over. And in a couple of days, it seems there will be a battle for fourth place. Eddie Cachian Sin Fronteras are set to pass the Cook Straits, just as Mutual Madrilena plan to be leaving. 